coming out of the red corner wearing the blue trunks trimmed with white and red weighing in at 11 stone and 14 ounces a four fight record three wins one inside the scheduled distance and one draw he comes to the ring undefeated from banbury it's time to meet the raging ball peter ball and across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed with white and weighing in 11 stone and 2 pounds. 23 fight records, 16 wins, 4 inside the scheduled distance, and just 7 defeats from Hayes. Robert Lloyd Taylor! Time to the bell is Michael McCann, our referee in charge of the action from Romford, is Mr. Mark Green. This is 3. Three minute round, semi final number one. Exactly what I do. I'll tell you to break, you break quickly, break cleanly. Watch the holding. Shake hands, gents. Good luck. Time to get slightly more serious. The semi finals are upon us in this sweltering hot boxing hub of East London. The York Hall's crammed, but it's rocking tonight. Surprise, prize fighter entrant Robert Lloyd Taylor, who remember won a coin toss to replace JJ Bird at the last hour. He's in with the pre-tournament favourite Peter Vaughan, who himself, rather fortunate to be in this position, Wayne Goddard. Well, a lot of us at ringside felt deserved to be in the semi-finals, but that's the way it goes, the luck of the draw. Goddard's out, Vaughan's in. And in with Lloyd Taylor, who showed some skills to defeat Takaloo in his quarter-final. Who do you fancy here, Richie? Well, this is going to be a real test here for Taylor because he's got to keep moving the whole of this uh, contest. He's got to hit and move, jab, stick and move, as they say. Vaughan, on the other hand, on the front foot, he's got to avoid that jab and try and get close to his man. So this will be a, a real big test for Taylor to keep his man at bay. Upright Lloyd Taylor, more of an accomplished boxer, utilising his feet and the advancing, marauding Peter Vaughan. We heard the family as Charlie Webster got amongst the ginger wigs up there. And they'll be hoping that Vaughan takes the 32 grand prize. And there might be a trip to Vegas, but there's a long way to go. Yeah, great support for Vaughan. All those uh, ginger wigs, they've all got T-shirts on. With, with a ball actually on the t front of the T-shirt. So, yeah, great support. But their man... He's got to step on the front foot, and this is better. This is what he's got to do and force his opponent back. Rattling in the body shots there, Vaughan. That's impressive work. Lloyd Taylor pecking away. Not got a great deal of power, the man from Middlesex. But he's going to have to really box out of his skin here, Lloyd Taylor, to keep Vaughan at bay. That's good with a body shot. He's got some class, Lloyd Taylor. Yeah, but those jabs, they're not getting through, Adam. What, um, the tactic here from Vaughan, as he's coming forward, he's keeping the guard up, gets close with it, yeah, yeah, he got caught cool with the right hand there, but he's actually blocking the jabs with the high guard, prepared to take shots as he's coming in, Vaughan, and trying to land his own big punches. Physically rough and tough, Vaughan. Is he cultured enough to take prize fighter? Does he need to be in this sort of competition with the opposition that was low from Vaughan and Mark Green uh, well he saw a few low blows the other night didn't he with Jamie Cox and, uh, just a few good tactics from Vaughan coming forward but Taylor boxing well on the back foot here just keeping his distance clever work it's three judges again it's what you like yeah I rather Fancy Lloyd Taylor's boxing in this, but you might go for Vaughan. Yeah, it's, uh, it may come down to what the judges prefer. The judge might prefer a boxer coming forward, trying to force the fight. That's a close round, it really is a close one. Very tight, it's what you like. Johnny well, Eames has taken over control uh, of the blue I'll corner. Be. A team assembled uh, on the night, one, one. Richie. Yeah, that is incredible, isn't it? But, Vaughan coming forward here, got through with a couple of good body shots, switches the attack upstairs, Taylor covering up, just popping away with his jab, but a lot of the jabs did hit the gloves of Vaughan, and all the action in that round seemed to come from him. And I just thought 
Vaughan did enough to take that round. Some good boxing on the back foot from Taylor. That was a good body shot. But overall, I thought Vaughan just did enough. Well, Vaughan now one more. Yeah. Lloyd see, Taylor threw more. You see the success oh, ratio yeah. on the computer with Vaughan, but, you know, to be honest, it's what Ian John Lewis and Terry O'Connor and Howard Foster see. That's all that matters. I bet they were split with that round. The dark blue trunks of Robert Lloyd Taylor, the late, late entry into prize fighter. A heating engineer from Hayes. His dad, Glen Roy, was a pro like heavyweight. Boxing in the jeans. Stop start career for Lloyd Taylor. Peter Vaughan just getting started with his. A yeah. whirlwind type of fighter. And his trainer Jim Evans has got a couple of hundred pounds on Vaughan to win this. Yeah. I mean, the thing, I don't think there's a knockdown there. No, he bundled him yeah. to the floor. Yeah. I mean, it was good boxing there from Taylor on the back foot, but you just sense that Vaughan is going to get to him the way he's coming forward. It's the strength, really, of Peter Vaughan. Just touches down there, Robert Lloyd Taylor, but again bundled. But he's just sort of lost his rhythm, Lloyd Taylor, and he's up against it here. Yeah, what he needs to do here, Taylor, just... Body shots. Yeah, that was a good body shot there from Vaughan. Taylor needs to start landing with a couple more accurate shots and try and stop his man dead in his tracks here, but this is better than Vaughan. We were saying before the semi-final off-air, Richie, about his confidence, Robert Lloyd Taylor. Adam Booth has always told me the talent's there, but the belief has been the issue. Good see that out of the left, there from Robert Lloyd Taylor. You see, he does have the skills to look good, and he did that. Just holding his feet there and just throwing that left uppercut. Much better shots from Taylor. Made the decision, didn't he, just to stand a little bit and trade. And it worked for him on the inside of that shot. On the night trainer, Johnny Ings, banging the canvas. It really would be some story if Robert Lloyd Taylor could even get to the final. Vaughan, oh. right hand though, just on the Temple area, nearly went there. Robert Lloyd Taylor, he's been down a few times in his career. And that was a punch that shook him. Yeah, but look how low Taylor's hand is. Adam, that left hand, that's how he got caught with that right hand over the top. He was high on the temple, as you said. Just staggered him just slightly. But they're both fancying it on the inside now. The younger man, Peter Vaughan, but he looks more mature. He looks oh, a shot. harder proposition. What a lovely left up again from Taylor, that was. A couple of quality punches from him on the inside. Finding the target. Well, good work. Good action in this second round. Do the judges like the aggression or the cute shots from Taylor? Who's got through with some of these uppercuts. This is a very difficult fight to score. Oh, there's a, there's a bad injury to the eye as well of Peter Vaughan. The right eye swollen. Jamie Moore in the studio. How are you seeing things here? Yeah, I, I, as you said, Ads, I think he's dead even. You know, Peter, um, Vaughan, uh, the, those hooks around the sides to the body and bringing him up to the head in the first round, they, was, um, they, was, they were great shots, but uh, Lloyd Taylor came back in that round really well, boxed on the back foot. Towards the end, I think he started to get a little bit tired, and I think um, it, it, he, he, was he was standing in the rope, and Vaughan was able to get his body shots off a lot better. So this, this last round looks like it's going to be a real good round. The quality punches were definitely from, from Taylor in that round, especially the uppercuts, the left uppercut in particular. Some great shots. Vaughan, plenty of punches going in from Vaughan. This was a late rally. Vaughan. There's that right hand over the top that caught his man on the high on the temple. I think it's one round apiece. It's anybody's. Everybody at ringside around us is doing the level side. So, Peter Vaughan tries to lift the fans in the balcony. Robert Lloyd Taylor maybe took the second with his neat boxing, can he stay out of trouble? Can he land the quality shots? Or will Vaughan just keep marching forward and catch the eye of the judges? That eye doesn't look good of Vaughan either. Some good boxing again from Taylor on the front, on the back foot. But Vaughan coming forward, 
Very, very persistent, sustained pressure. Got to move the head a little bit more, though, if he's coming forward. Right hand from Vaughan. Good start to the third round from the man from Banbury, who's got support from Ox Oxfordshire, support from Aberdeen, Leamington. They've all come to see Vaughan. Good right hand, though, from Lloyd Taylor. That uppercut working well. Yeah, sneaky little shot, wasn't it? Just waited for his chance and gets caught again there, Vaughan. But Vaughan keeps coming forward. He's so... Like you've said, Adam, it might be the judges pre preferring a man coming forward, pinning his guy on the, on the ropes. He's built more for prize fighter, isn't he, Peter Vaughan? Robert Lloyd Taylor maybe for your sort of purist boxing. Yeah, good work from Vaughan. Just doing that little bit more, but Lloyd Taylor firing neat shots back. Another good one, another oh, close one. shot. And a wonderful patch from Robert Lloyd Taylor. And Vaughan goes down, and that might seal it. Unsteady on his legs, the unbeaten man from Banbury. And Robert Lloyd Taylor. Wow! What a classy shot that was! It was a short little left uppercut from Taylor there, and there it is again, he's looking for it. But Vaughan still coming forward, what a great contest! He seems to have recovered. Digging in with the hooks, Vaughan, wide open. But what heart and belief! And here he comes to try and take Lloyd Taylor out. He knows now he might need a knockdown to level the playing field in another twisty, turny fight. Yeah, he's got to watch it here, though, Adam. He could walk onto a shot here. He's going for it. But Taylor so accurate with those uppercuts. Really good blend of action tonight in prize fighter, the light middleweights. Fight fans might not have heard of a lot of these guys, but they'll remember them. Spirited effort here from Vaughan to pick himself up another uppercut. Lloyd Taylor again. Was incredible. 15 seconds left in the final round of this semi-final. Peter Vaughan loses his unbeaten record. His prize fighter dreams go up in smoke. Robert Lloyd Taylor, the night of his life. He's in the final. Would you believe it? Unbelievable, yeah. Great shots from Taylor. I was a little bit surprised that the referee jumped in when he did. However, they, they had the back to us, so we just couldn't see how, how bad a condition he was actually in. The referee's closer, but I just thought that it, I was a little bit surprised at him, but that's that left uppercut that, that actually put him down. What a great punch that was. That was the shot of the fight. Vaughan just kept coming forward, another angle, there it is. Great punch. Vaughan recovered quite well after that, to be quite honest, but he just kept walking onto punches. Another angle again, through the middle. That was a peach of a shot from Taylor. And that confidence we were talking about is now flowing with Robert Lloyd Taylor. He'll believe he can win prize fighter. Yeah, it was a left hook, left uppercut and another right uppercut. I don't know, I'm still a little bit surprised there that the referee's actually jumped in, to be quite honest. There's 14, 15 seconds left. I thought he would have let it go on a little bit longer. Right man goes through, though. Yeah, I think so. I think the quality shots were from Taylor. He certainly surprised me. Overall, I thought Vaughan was going to be a little bit too strong for him in the last round, but what a performance from Taylor. Dave Colwell, who's a part of Lloyd Taylor's team, he's appeared at ringside. I wonder where Adam Booth is. They're probably all rushing to be here. <laughs> They're all jumping in the taxis together. <laughs> Peter Vaughan devastated the ginger wigs. Well, they applaud because it was a good fight. But it's Robert Lloyd Taylor who's in the final. Well, ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Michael McCann has recorded a time of two minutes. 45 seconds of the third and final round. Referee Mark Green has stopped the contest. Vaughan in no position to continue. Your winner and through to the final of the Prize Fighter Series, Robert Taylor!